And we're back. So let's continue the Berserker beta playthrough that we're in the middle of, or in the midst of right now. So we need to talk to Alchemist Alustin. My friends, there's no need to think of alchemy as something difficult. Alchemy begins with understanding the fundamental principles of all things. Everything exists based on. What's happening? Look, that staff is shaking. This device is supposed to react to black energy. My friends, don't panic. It is just a small amount of energy. By any chance, is there a stranger among us? A greater you have extraordinary strength. Come Welcome. You must be the one Captain Cliff spoke of. I see. You lost your memories, but have somehow managed to keep your sanity despite being engulfed by the darkness. This is most rare. Losing your memory may be a defense mechanism, your mind's way of enabling you to retain your sanity. You may even have been an adventurer before this dreadful incident took place. It seems destiny has quested you with the biggest adventure of all, an adventure to find your memories. You might even meet someone along the way that recognizes you, but before you go, it would be a good idea to rest. I recommend you seek out the village chief. Old Igor does love a good adventure tale. Alright. Just gonna acknowledge that. All right, so let's go talk to good old Igor Bartali. Let's see what the central market looks like. I doubt anybody has anything up, but uh, we can take a hot peek at it. Yeah, there's just nothing up. Oh, I don't even think. Oh, okay, yeah, you can sell stuff. There is one as well. Someone did register one as well amulet. I'm I am stunned. Someone actually. Someone has actually already registered something. I'm sure there are people that are just straight sprinting through. Because I, I would assume... I'm going to pull my chair up. If I didn't read anything, we would be pretty... We'd be a lot farther. And I didn't watch the cutscenes. You could probably beat a uh, Heidel by now. Maybe a little bit further. Okay, Igor. Olivia and Velia are like twin towns. They must grow together. But please, feel free to rest here. Uh, greetings, adventurer. Welcome to Velia. So what brings you here? Tell me about your adventures. Uh, if you want, I can get you a room for free with a comfortable bed. Please stay a night. I love to hear about your adventures. But before that, I'd like to introduce you to someone. Tatros is our town skill instructor, and he's one of the best out there. You'll have a lot to learn from him if you plan on staying. I suggest you give. I suggest you to give him a visit. Okay, so let's go talk to uh, Tatros. Buddy is okay. I guess I'm not grabbing onto that. Buddy is up here. I wish you actually did more with him, but so my luck is in. Uh, look at you, all bright-eyed, Kratos. Ah, I forget names easily. I'm just going to call you Little Hero. Little Hero. So here, what brings you here? Are you here to learn combat skills from me? Uh, that's true. A Bartali, a Bartali cannot go back on their word. I do have something to ask of you, though. My granddaughter, bless her heart, suffers from terrible nightmares, so he has to wear a necklace infused with a calming aura to keep them at bay. We owe so much to the Alustans for his, or so much to Alustin for his help. The necklace needs to be regularly reinfused by Eileen, otherwise it doesn't work properly. I gave it to her yesterday, but the inn has been so manic that I haven't had time to get it back. Could you get it and take it to my granddaughter, Emily? Yes, I can, buddy. As soon as we have to fight enemies, I'm going to go through my skills, but we haven't gotten to that point yet, so I, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'll do the skills once we're, we're going to run into enemies here soon. I just got like an eyelash in my eye. Itches now. Okay, Eileen. Okay. And look at all the people here. It's like a giant cluster. Some fatal wings, a bit of blue lava sauce, and let's see. Drop into tear and then oh, This happens every single time I try to make rouge. Oh, uh, welcome. Kratos, I'm not Clorence, I'm Eileen. Surprised? Even people that know us have a hard time telling us apart. But you can tell if you listen to how we talk. 
I don't know if there's anything I can do to help, or if you need anything, I mean. It's definitely Clorence if one of us talks timidly like this. Uh, ah, are you referring to the necklace Island gave me? Just in time. Everything is all set. Huh? You want to know more about the experiment? I just did. Uh, I am much more diligent than you think. As promised, here is the necklace. Ah, it's very hot. Please be careful not to burn your fingers. Emma Bartali is the chief's granddaughter. She has been suffering from frequent nightmares. Sometimes Emma's nightmares can get so bad that she can't wake up. This necklace was was specifically made to treat nightmares. Emma lives at Bartali Farm, not too far from here. You'll see it if you follow this road. Okay, so we need to go talk to Emma Bartali at the Bartali Farm. Um, I think it's it's right up here. I wouldn't normally cut it, but I think it's just a hop, skip, and a jump, and we are there. So I'm just going to go ahead and run. Because if you don't take the road, you're right here in no time flat. Alright, Emma. Chief Igor is my grandpa. Do we look alike? That's the problem, I think. Me and him are the only ones that have those nightmares. Uh, you brought my necklace. I'm guessing Tatro's told you to send this to me. I experience nightmares frequently when I don't have this necklace. I should have been the one to get the necklace back for my grandmother. Thank you so much again. Uh, yes, you want to know more about my dreams. Oh, well, you see Iwa's hill over there. I always see these little spirits sobbing quietly to themselves. When I try to go and comfort them, something always seems to get in the way. Then, these black spirits with beady red eyes would appear out of nowhere and chase after me. Hmm? Do you say that you want to head over to Iwa's Hill? That place is infested with goblins. It's too dangerous. But if you still want to go to Iwa's Hill, I suggest that you talk to Grusha first. Don't let his appearance fool you. He's actually very sensible and wise. Okay, so now time to head on over to talk to good old Grusha. So we're unlocking the different uh, the different nodes uh, to do different stuff at, uh, which is nice. I don't know if we'll quite get to that in the beta. That's, I mean, I don't know. There's not really that big of a point to make a worker's empire in the beta, but you never know, I guess. You, you, you never truly know till, until you actually do it, but I highly doubt it. I lean, I lean towards a definite probably no that we won't be doing it but yeah like i said you never know there's there, there there's a chance all right gresha quick act like we're fighting we mustn't get caught speaking took all day for me for this to get up and i'm not leaving till i learn what they're up to uh, i've been checking out the i mean the situation ah why am i speaking in goblin it's been so long since i've come face to face with another human that i can't seem to remember whether i'm a human or a goblin hmm what our weakness you're going to slay all the goblins why why did we ever do what did we ever do to you wait 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 wait. i'm human no i can't betray them not even if emma asked i, w I wouldn't us goblins mu are just misunderstood we're nicer than you think no my mission is to spy on them i must complete my mission right we must get rid of them all we can't leave one goblin alive i'll tell you what you need to know maybe then i can get rid of this bloody stutter Okay, so I need to defeat 25 goblins. And we're still in that weird that I feel like I don't do enough damage, but I'm going to come over here because I think it's a little bit more populated. Yeah. yeah, but it's also more populated with people. Let's go ahead and put another earrings on, put on the binder necklace, and we're still 1210. This is the stages of the game where... Ooh, look at it. There's an Asian name there. We've gotten out of the major, like, cluster, though. I will say that. We're not in, like, the weird cluster. Oh, I should probably be looking at my skills now. So, hold on. We'll complete this 25, and then I believe I have to go back to Russia. And that's when I'll... I'll look at my skills then. I totally forgot to do it. It's my bad. My bad. And my character just, like, froze in place. Okay, 
six kill. Let's come up here. Like, it actually surprises me how little damage I do. Still, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still shook by how little damage I do. It's kind of crazy. These guys up. Slam them into the ground. And, oh, okay. I just don't have any knowledge on the throwers. I have knowledge on the regular goblins, just not the throwers. Slam into the ground. Do a couple of stomps. Can't tell if the stomps are really for damage or if they're just kind of crowd control y type things. I'm leaning towards they're just more crowd control y than they are actual, like, damage dealers. Because that doesn't feel like it's doing a whole lot of damage. I guess it probably depends on how you're hitting them, but that just doesn't feel like it's a... It's an overly good damage attack. Ooh, look at this. Let's come over here. Try to clear these guys out before anybody else notices. Are you gonna die? Thank you. Slam you into the ground. Ooh, you can ooh, you can charge that up. That is very interesting. Did not know that you could just straight charge that up. All right, two more. Let's come over here. Charge that up. Okay, that's not bad. I kind of like that charge. I knocked, I knocked him way back. Okay, so now we need to head back to Grusha. So I'm gonna run back to Grusha, and then we will take a look at the. Uh, we'll take a look at my skills, but I'm gonna, you know, I'll see you guys in a moment when we get back to Grusha. All right, got the eyelash out of my eye, and it is time to continue. You're much stronger than I thought. You even managed to defeat our elite soldiers. But this is, a f is far from over. Us goblins will rise up again. Our chief will return. He's been laying low and building his strength. He might not be here now, but mark my words, he will return. And when that day comes, all you humans are finished, and Emma will become my goblin bride, and we will have many goblin children. Ha 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 ha. Some weird stuff. That's some weird stuff, Gresha. No, this isn't right. Why did I say she would be my goblin bride? Look, like me, all the goblins are in high spirits. In order to get rid of us... No, I mean the goblins. You have to destroy their base. It won't be easy. Gain that knowledge from Grusha. Okay, so we need to destroy watch one watchtower, two sculptures, and two cauldrons. Easy enough. I'm going to try to yoink the sculpture. There's one... What? And count? Alright. Oh, there's a little gap here. All right, let me get this watchtower out of the way. And then, uh, if I had to actually fight stuff here, we're going to do our skills. I don't, try, don't worry, I didn't forget about it again. We're going to do the skills, but this part doesn't really... Okay, okay it did good. It did give me credit. I was going to say, really? That dude came in and got, like, one hit on that. All right, sculpture. Didn't get credit for that. <laughs> just need all right guys can we i just need just need some cauldrons stop murdering everything so quickly oh 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 something popped up over here uh it's the sculpture don't do it don't do it buddy it's my sculpture okay success now, let's head this way, and we'll try to... Ooh, cal cauldron sitting all by itself. Thank you. One more cauldron to go. I'm just going to keep scanning, looking for the cauldron. we got to go over here anyway, and there is my cauldron. All right. I was like, yeah, that was the ultimate troll job. Okay, 
So we have to come over here anyway, so that's all right. Hopefully, hopefully there's some cauldrons over here for me. I would thoroughly appreciate that game. There was just, just one cauldron. How is there not a single cauldron in this big open field? I'm spooked. There, there's no cauldrons. What is this? How game game let's be honest how are there no cauldrons you can't tell me that everybody and their mother is just killing cauldrons i i refuse to believe that i refuse i refuse black desert oh there's a call there's multiple cauldrons Urgh, get there hurry up get there my cauldron yeah success victory is achieved I'm gonna try to summon the black spirit. Okay, um, let's come over here. Let's go to the road. Hopefully nothing follows me. Don't follow me. All right, we're good. Pop the black spirit. Hee hee hee, can you feel it? How are we so much stronger when we're together? Okay, here we go. Gaieth the Goblin Chief time. Do you feel that someone else is here? I think it's the Goblin Chief. I can feel it. He he he. Want me to summon it just like Red Nose? You better be ready. He's much stronger than other goblins. Don't worry. You have me, so you should be fine. Worst that happens is you wind up dead. He he he. Do you think Russia will be surprised if we defeat Gaieth? I can't wait to see the look on, the, on his face. Okay. So, it's right over here. And now we'll take a look at the skills before we go ahead and fight Gaieth. Which is a decently cool, decently cool enemy. Come up here. Okay, skills. Okay, so we got Headbutt. Which I kind of like the skill. I have to be, I have to be kind of picky because we don't have a whole lot of stuff. I really like Smackdown. I do really like this skill. So I might do that. Storming Beast. That's the slam your feet into the ground. So. That's different. After tackling rock. What is tackling rock? Tackling rock. Okay. Tackling rock is that forward circle that I've been doing a lot of. Okay. Okay. You might actually get me to... I kind of like this more. Is that an att... Oh, that's just an ev evasion thing. And this uses... This uses headbutt in a combo. Fierce strike. I mean, pretty simple. Lava piercer? What is this? What am I, what am I looking at? What is this? I think I have to pick this up. What is this? We have Frenzy Destroyer. We don't need any of the, the two-star stuff yet. I want the fun stuff. Use Fierce Strike. So this is just comboed with Fierce Strike. Uh, five inflicted every three seconds for nine seconds on good hit. HP recovery for every good hit. Seizing Fear is just incre... Okay, we're picking up this. I don't know what this is, but I'm picking it up. How'd you even use that? It was L2 forward? Or L, yeah, L2 forward. Or no, it was L2 axe. L2X. Hold on, I gotta try this. What the heck is this? Wait, hold on. Wait, what was it? Let's see. What was this? Oh, uh, where is it? Uh, okay, so it's Lava Piercer, L2 plus X. So, um, hello. Is it, is it Riddler? What? Oh, what on earth? Hello? What is that? It could be like, that is... That is something. What is that? What? Does that do any damage? Just like, 
Is that just like the Berserker's form of uh, the Lon's jump and fly? That's a, that's a something. Uh, that's probably a waste, but that was a something. It's not prepared for that. I want this here. It's only three, so I want to pick that up. Um, I'm gonna pick that up and then pick that up, and I think that that's good. That's good for now. Okay, that was that is that is something and a half. I don't know what to say other than that is that is something and a half. Okay, time for our Gaia fight. All right, buddy, let's dance. Gaia, see, Gaia, you don't have the weird, like, slam me into the ground, jump up in the air like a weirdo attacks that uh, good old Red Nose had. That's why, like, I think Gaius, even though he has, like, a lot more health, and he's kind of more annoying, I think he's easier. Okay, as he, like, absolutely deals a crap ton of damage to me. Yeah, just <laughs> that repeated headbutt, baby. I'm gonna heal while he's down. Try to get that attack off to regen a little bit extra health. We're gonna get some sick lore after this. Not actually that sick, but it is, it's decent. I mean, it's it's something. It's something. It, it's some lore. I mean, not the craziest lore, but it, it's something. I wish I could pick him up and slam him. That would that would be like the peak of like awesomeness here. Would be if I could slam him. Or if I could pick him up and slam him like smaller enemies. That would just be peak that would be peak awesomeness in this game. Not gonna lie. That would be the peak of just absolute just elite levels of gameplay. If I could pick up and slam a boss. Okay, forgive me. I followed you because I was worried. That creature that you defeated, I saw it in my nightmares. About Gresha, please don't think ill of him. He has dedicated himself entirely to this mission. He will come back to his senses soon enough. I can tell that Gaeth is not a goblin. It is very similar to the black energy I saw in my nightmare. Like Gresha, he's a human wearing a goblin's mask. I am in awe of how far someone is willing to go to protect something. It may be related to the vengeful spirit that I saw in my nightmare. Everything is starting to become clear. When I was a child, I heard about a cave where a ghost would appear. Can you give me a hand? I am sure we can find some clues in that cave. Eileen says that only a medium can commune with spirits. Adventure, please help me. I need to get rid of my nightmares. There is a myth that the ghosts of the people who used to live in the castle are still inhabiting that place, on Iwas Hill. You can find a shining flower that rarely blooms. The ghost of Crone Castle respond to that flower. I will be waiting for you at the hill near Crone Castle. Okay, so we got a new weapon. We got the Aswell box. So what does this get us to? 17. Okay, that's a massive upgrade. That's a massive upgrade. So do we just... Do we pwn these things now? No, not really. I mean, we kill them, but not as much damage as I thought. Come here, buddy. It's pick up and slam you in the ground time. So... Hold on. Can I... Okay, let me use my skill. Just... Okay, yeah, so you want to combo out of... When you pick and slam, you want to combo out of it with, uh... With anything, because it... The, um... What am I trying to say? It's slow in order to... It kind of slams him down, and then he kind of looks down and over him. If you immediately use another skill when you slam, he doesn't look down over him. Saves about a second of combat time. Why is there just a random goblin up here? Wait, wait. Put that weapon away. I surrender. Is it alright if I surrender to you? Oh dear, you scared me. I thought my heart was going to leap out of my chest. What are you doing here? Ach, where did you get that eerie looking flower? Is that the flower Emma keeps talking about? 
that cave that em Emma spoke of is over there. Go down the cliff located to the east of Crone Castle. Okay, so let's go talk to Emma. We're going to finish up this little Emma side quest. I mean, it's a main quest, but it's really a side quest for Emma. So we're going to finish this up, and then we will call it an, an episode. I really like this. It's really cool. There's a bunch of people. This will be the fun thing when the game fully releases on PlayStation, because I'll be there at the beginning. I'll be ready and good to go at 3 a.m. So I'm going to get the names that I want, and I might reclaim. I might claim Kratos again. It's a possibility. I might, I might try to get Kratos again. But uh, it'll be fun to see all the people with names that are like like this, like Kratos. Because, obviously, they're all available, so it'll be fun. So, like, that person's name was Sky, S-K-Y-E. It's just cool to see people get, like, the names that they want. But you gotta be on, and you gotta be ready to go at, at 3 a.m. I was waiting for you, Kratos. Ah, the flower is trembling. It must be reacting to something. It's somewhere nearby, Kratos. When I was a kid, my grandfather used to talk about this cave. Please take the lead, if you don't mind. I'll be right behind you. I want to get to the bottom of this nightmare. Okay, so we got the binder ring. Let's go into this cave over here. Kratos is almost too big to fit into the cave. Okay, it takes it a while to load in here. I don't like... It's really weird. I don't like how it works. Now I have to wait for Emma to load in. It's one of the weird spots in the game where the character model just doesn't want to load. She spawns... There, there we go. She spawns right there, but it takes her a while. The ghost, a child... The ghost is looking for a child. Look, Kratos, the ghost is reacting to the wildflower. The cause of Crone Castle's ruin is still unknown to me. My grandfather seems to know something, but he never shares anything with me because he thinks I'm too young. There should, however, be some records about those events in the castle ruins. Beetle has been spying on the occupying forces, and he's convinced that the commander of the Crone Castle has the records on his person. Please infiltrate their encampment and get those records. I'll be waiting at the entrance of Crone Castle. Okay. So let's go get these records for Emma. We'll grab the records, and then we'll call it an episode. We'll go back and talk, and then it starts kind of a new chain of quests with Beetle. It's still here at Crone Castle, but that that's where we'll, uh, we'll call it a nice little episode here. <laughs> Try to keep the episodes to... 35... Thir somewhere between 25 and 40 minutes. I know the first episode was really long, but that's because it was the first episode, obviously. Uh, the rest of them I want to keep at a reasonable length so that people can watch them. Hour-long videos just seem to be a little bit, you know, for me, I see an hour-long video, you know, unless I'm looking to kill time with a video, that that's a little bit of an intimidating length on a video to be to sit down and be like, okay, well... Oh, there should be a tent here, but there isn't a tent, so let's go find our... Okay, there's just no tents. Okay, well, time to do... Time to do the easy thing. Let's go pickpocket the, uh, the commander. This commander has got to be the worst commander on the face of the earth. I mean, we just walk up right behind him. Hello. And we're just going to stick our hand right into your pocket there, buddy. Don't... Just ignore me. Definitely not stealing from you. Okay, so now we have to light one of these tents on fire, but there's not a tent here, so... Are they gonna respawn? See, this is weird. There's just no tent. There should be a tent here and a tent here. And that's what you're supposed to light on fire, but there's no tent. Okay, hello, tent. There's also a tent up here, usually, but... This is, like, really weird. There's just no tents to light on fire. Hello, game. Respawn the tents. I feel like this should be on an instant respawn. I mean... Because you have to actually interact with the tent. So I don't think I can go, like, back out here and around. I'm gonna do this, and then it's gonna be a huge mistake, because... Clearly... I don't think... It's gotta be one of those tents. It's why there's, like, that arrow pointing that... Or there's, like, that beam of light showing you that that's what you need to light on fire. Okay, game. I guess... Okay, so I guess I'm gonna... I don't know what to do, because I can't progress unless I burn one of these tents, and the tents won't respawn. 
Like, there's the tent here. There's a tent here that spawns, but... I guess I'm gonna cut the episode here and wait for a tent to spawn, and then in the next episode... Oh my gosh, here's the tent. Oh my gosh, clutch. Hurry up, light it on fire. Thank you! Oh my gosh, that was clutch. I was about to cut it, and we clutched that bad boy out right there. Whew. There's like six people there looking for a tent to burn, too. That's the crazy thing, is I just got massively lucky. Whew. That's a, that's a tough one with that tent, because the respawn timers are kind of slow. Alright, ah, yes, those explosions caused by the Forbidden Alchemy. If there was anyone who would know, it's the person next to me. My grandfather's friend, Alustin, has twin daughters. People prefer Clorence more as she's very calm and smart, but I'm personally a lot closer to Eileen. She always worries about me because of my nightmares. She even risked her life to come all the way out here with me for support. I think it would be alright to show the records to Eileen. Whatever secrets they contain, I value her opinion. Can you show her the records? Yes. Hello, Eileen. Oh, hello. I followed you here because I was worried about Emma. Hee hee hee. I'm glad to know that Emma is doing fine. Ah, it's the Lost Records of Crone. Wow, it's my first time seeing such a thing. Well, of course, I've seen books about it in my father's study. Give it to me. I might figure something out if I look at it closely. Hmm. Oh, I can't believe it. Even my father might have never seen this. Uh, this record was has obviously spent a great deal of time locked away in the, some dusty archives. And you say the Crone Castle commander was holding on to this? My goodness, what was the... What was he planning to do with it? It wasn't always like this. The Crone Kingdom and all of its people burned to ashes due to the greed of a few individuals who began to practice forbidden alchemy. They were here for one second and gone the next, and no one ever sought to ease their pain. This is why they have appeared before Emma, who is herself of the Crone bloodline. They are de desperately crying out for help, and we must answer them. Uh, just reading this record sends a chill down my spine. This mistake, the mistakes of the past, will people ever learn? Phew. Give me a moment to call myself. Right. We need to find a way to ease the suffering of Crone Castle's tragic victims. Their spirits are clearly full of spite, which might explain Emma's nightmares. I do know of one ritual that could comfort these or those lost souls. Let me have a quick look in my bag. I'll add some of this, a pinch of that. Just add just the ratio, and voila. Please recite the ritual in the scroll at the highest point of Crone Castle. It should calm the vengeful souls. You wish to know how to get to the top? Don't worry, Beetle will take you there. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, Beetle and I will head to the top of Crone Castle to do the Scroll of Remembrance. And so I hope you guys enjoy. Check back later today for that video, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace.